Caribbean, we keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones, and in the news, Adrian Aleng arriving home on Thursday. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Six months after she was airlifted to the United States for specialized medical care, 13 year old Adrian Aleng, who suffered life threatening injuries in a fire that killed her three siblings, was discharged from hospital on Tuesday. Adriana was accompanied by her father, Adrian Leng, and Stephen Josephs of San Bruno Foundation, which was instrumental in raising funds to fly to the U.S. I arrived at the Fort Lauderdale International Airport from Boston shortly after 11 a.m. on Tuesday. The teen, who has been fitted with a prosthetic left leg, was able to walk unsupported. I feel happy, said the smiling Adriana. I want to go home and see my family. The young girl suffered 50% burns all over her body, and had to undergo 26 surgeries at the Shriners Hospital for Children in Boston and the Joseph M. Stillburn Center in Atlanta, Georgia. She was flown to Miami, Florida, from where she'll make her way to Jamaica on Thursday. Adrian was greeted at the Florida airport by Olivia Mir, Jamaica's Consul General for the Southern United States. After the formalities, she requested a meal of fried chicken and was promptly taken to the Jamaican restaurant, Jerk Machine, where her palate was satisfied. Adrian was also the guest of honor to dinner hosted by Amir on Tuesday evening and was quite excited to wear her princess dress. While the young girl will have to return to the U.S. within the next three months to undergo additional reconstructive surgery. She's looking forward to getting back to Jamaica, albeit to a sad reality as her brothers, Adriano and seven-year-old twins, Jordan and Jaden, had perished in the fire. When Adriana was flown out of Jamaica in early September 2022, her injuries were so severe that many people doubted whether she would have survived. In fact, on the flight to the U.S., the medical team had to be quite busy keeping her body moist to prevent her temperature from elevating to fatal levels. Once her recovery began taking shape, the young girl's spirits were lifted and she soon took on the role of comfort at the Boston Hospital where she met children from war-torn Ukraine who had lost limbs and had suffered other injuries as Russian missiles rained down on the European country. She tried her best to comfort the Ukrainian children, especially the boy who lost a leg and his mother who was constantly crying, recalled Josephs. Adriana's father got quite emotional when he was asked to reflect on the journey and her recovery. I want to give thanks to God because he made it possible. I am so, words can't even express it. I am emotional right now, but we are here and we are grateful, said Adrian Lang. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.